Today on Let Dirt Fly, we help you choose which clutch to buy for your quad. Do you go with the cast aluminum CV Tech or do you go with the full on billet STM goodness? Stick around and find out. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Let There Fly YouTube channel. So as we stated in the little intro there, we are putting two very, very common clutches head to head against each other. Yes. So this is going to be a very interesting test. So what we have done is we have worked with some clutch experts in tuning both of these clutches. We have the CV Tech, which is a cast aluminum deal, or we have our Billet STM Rage 3P primary clutch. Both of these clutches are very good uh, to go with if you're looking to gain more power. If you want to put power to the wheel, these are two of the biggest. The third is obviously a QSC. What? We didn't get our hands on one, so we can't do the triple shot. If you shootout. guys have one, let us know. We would like yes, to do Yes, if you would like to throw one to us, you know. So how we're going to be doing this test, because obviously we can't tell you what our butt dyno feels. Um, I mean, we might be able to feel a difference. I, I kind of know the results of this test already because I've done a tuning, but we have one of these guys. So this is called a draggy, and what this little guy is, is a little data box basically that measures things like G's, and you can actually do custom times. So we're actually going to be filming 0 to 20, 0 to 30, 0 to 40 miles per hour, and we're also going to be timing our 0 to 100 foot, 0 to 200 foot, and 0 to 300 foot to see which clutch performs better in which area and see which one's happier. Which one do you go with? Yeah, right? Now, Marshall did the tuning on this. I have not actually gotten on my machine in two weeks. So basically where, where the clutch was turning on this thing was apparently 6,700 RPMs uh, is where it was shifting out. Marshall brought that to 7,300 RPMs to put it more into the peak power of what the 850 is. Peak power is like 7,000. Um, it was one override a little so bit. So he made the shift out at 7300, which keeps you right in that peak power. Yes. And we're doing testing in high. Um, you can set them up in low to get your peak power and everything, but uh, f for most most comfortable riding, you're going to want them set it up in high. So we are kind of setting this up as almost like a mud drag setup. So when you order one of these clutches off any website, doesn't matter which engine builder, which factory makes it blah 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 you can order your clutch straight from STM you can I think you can order them straight from CV Tech too I'm not sure but there's tons of dealers out there they say they're gonna tune it to your proper tire size no they can get it close a lot of them um, will know where roughly to set you up at but there's a lot of fine tuning that has to be done to these clutches in order to get them perfect uh, because they're not with you and your machine so they're just kind of ballparking you to get you close and then you got to do some fine adjustments uh, to get everything right for example Seth ordered himself this CV tech from peak boys and it was it's been good it's, it's been, been great. great but we actually found out putting it on blacktop that she's not shifting out at the proper RPM so this guy was actually shifting at what we say 67, 67 I believe 6800 so there's a lot of power to be left on the table with this guy so what I ended up doing we took a bunch of weight out. We actually did a spring change. This had more of a trail setup spring in it, um, a 1015 spring. Um, so we ended up stepping up to a 1017. So this is going to give him a lot more power in the mud and make this thing a ripper. So did that, took some weight out. And then for the STM here, we got the silver spring in it. And right now I basically have uh, two weights in the middle, fly weights. And three weights in the, um, I guess they call it the heel here, where it uh, pivots. So I've set both of these clutches up with the clutch experts for around 7,300 RPM. That's what we're just aiming for in this instance. Um, wherever quad you have, you want to set it up for your peak power, basically of what, where your quad makes peak power at. So in this case, the, um, the XMR 850s here, they make peak power around 7,000 to 7,200 um, on a dyno. So we set up to about 7,300 because once you're in the mud and you load up the tires, it's going to put some more load on the motor and it's going to yeah. keep the RPM down. It's going to put it right in our 
her sweet spot. Yep. The other thing we have done that's going to be our constant here is we're now going to be changing Seth's secondary here. So he is running a stock secondary, stock helix, but we actually have a white EPI spring in this, which is just going to help get the RPMs up a little bit. Um, so basically I tuned both clutches with the, the white spring already in here. And uh, yeah, this, these both rip really good now. And I already know the results to this, and this is going to be a really fun test. So right now, there's no, nothing else we can do. We're just going to put the helmets on. That's We're right. actually going to be having the, um, the Draggy app on Seth's face. So you're actually going to see some real-time stuff happening, but we're also going to post some screenshots of the draggy information. And then also we're going to have some of this flyby footage in there, all that good stuff. Excellent. You ready? Ready. Let's do this. All right. All right, guys, Seth couldn't hold the front end down, so I had to do it here. Here we go. each so here we go here's number number two So we're trying to beat uh, daylight. Here. Holy crap! I the blood. Um, so Seth, right now he's just uh, we're just getting the STM off. Get the CV Tech on. We're gonna do our this runs. This shit is hot. Oh, it's gonna be toasty. Yeah, might, uh, that's why I got the gloves over there. But uh, right now we're just gonna swap the clutches, get it back over there, do some more power runs, and then once we get back, then we'll do all the talking about these clutches, which one's better than the other one, basically, and uh, all the fun stuff. All right, stay tuned. All right. There we go. CB Tech on. CB Tech is on. The belt's on. Belt. Hot belt. It's hot belt. It's still a hot belt. We are reusing the same belt. I know to do this properly, you guys want to see us put a new belt on, break the belt in properly. What? This is break the belt in properly. This I is know. breaking a belt in properly. Yeah, I know. <laughs> this is how we do it. Ride the crab out of it. Oops. Oh, you're in gear. <laughs> I was like, why the heck is it not spinning? There we go. Safety tech on. We put the cover on as a safety measure. Just sure in, safety. Just in case, even though it's plastic and it will still explode. So yes, actually that's one thing I'll bring up right now because I already know the haters of CV Tech down in the comments are gonna be like, oh my God, they explode. Why would you buy those clutches? There's been very, very few cases of them actually breaking, and it's because they are cast aluminum and they don't like heat. So like anything else, heat does some damage and yeah, they can um, bust. But we're gonna go over all that stuff in a little bit here. We're actually gonna go into more detail. We just wanna at least get the power runs done. And then we're going to talk to you guys all about this stuff. So right now, we'll catch you guys down back on our road in Mexico. We're, we're allowed to test these clots. All right, so we're in the same exact spot about 10 minutes later, so weather is exactly the same, everything's exactly the same. The only thing different is a CV Tech clutch. All right, here we go.
on here. Let's see how the uh, CB Tech does for last run. Dino felt. What's that? I said I know what butt dino felt. So now we go back. I said, well, you're gonna take a run on real quick to see how she feels. And we'll go back and see what the uh, draggy has to say, because that's she's a deciding factor. There is a noticeable difference between the two. I'm not gonna say which one felt better, but I'm gonna find out. All right, guys, so just came back to the house. Dude, who called the cops on us? I don't know. So, so, there was no cops, but we did hear sirens. Funny enough, it was actually just a uh, ambulance, we're pretty sure. Results we are in, though. So, Seth, what were your feelings on it? Okay. Um, Either, both clutches. Like, where'd you feel? I, I See, the problem is I didn't really get a good run out of the STM because it picked up. Really? Very quickly. Really, both um, times I, on you. All three of my runs wheelied up, so. <laughs> Um, but I felt like the CV Tech was a little bit more, if you will, controllable. Mm -hmm. um, where oh. the, you know, the STM I did kind of let off because I was trying not to um, wheelie it. But I felt like the STM might have had just that little extra grunt in there. So the CV Tech is actually a lighter clutch. So it does pick up faster off the initial hit, but it almost feels like when you're riding it, it feels like it lays over. Um, basically, it just feels like you're still pulling, but you don't have that like it, it seems almost like a smoother pull yes. rather than a more of a brute the stm feeling. feels more grunty like when you hit hit the throttle it just feels like the power is just immediately right there well let's see what the results have to say all right let's see what do we so, got so start off um i'll post all the results but uh we're just going to do the overall big times so our zero to 40 miles an hour is what we're gonna be talking about and our zero to 300 foot. I will post the other, um, we'll talk about the other numbers if they're close, but we wanna talk about those final numbers. So first run with the uh, STM, zero to 40 miles an hour, 3.42 seconds. All right. That's pretty good. And in 300 feet, 5.81 seconds. Huh. Second run. 3.46, so a little bit slower. She's probably got a little heat soaked. Uh, 3.46, zero to 40, and in 300 feet, 3.79. So it was actually a little bit quicker to 300 foot second run. Go figure. So Go figure. a little slower to 40, but a little faster to 300 feet. Okay, Weird. but you're talking, what, two, three, one hundredths of a second? Yes. You know, like from so zero to 300 feet, so. Not feelable. All right, next we have the CV Tech. You guys ready for this? Zero to 40. First run, 3.39 seconds. 3.39 seconds. And then 300 foot, uh, where is it? Oh, that's right, that's a tie. 5.79 seconds, so exactly the same to the 300 foot, the first. So the CV Tech hit 300 feet exactly the same as the STM. Yes. But it hit 40. Quicker. One tenth of a second faster. So hang on, we got, we, second run, okay. second run zero to 40 was 3.38 which is basically spot on with the run before by a hundredth of a second. Okay. And then to 300 foot, 3.78 seconds as opposed to 3.79. So literally, again, within a hundredth of a second. Pretty consistent. So it's, very, mean, so it's very consistent. You know what, I mean, the STM, you're talking a couple one hundredths yeah, of a second. Yeah, so they're, built, they're both. Very consistent. Both you really know. close. What are the zero to 20 numbers? Zero to 20? Uh, zero to 20. Let's see, let's see if that, you know, first run for the STM, 1.03 seconds. 1 Second 0 run, 1.12. 1.12. 1 so it's a tenth slower. Um, CV Tech, 1.19 seconds. Zero to 20. Second run, the 
uh, first run was 1.23 seconds. So it's really weird. So okay, so <laughs> going with the zero to twenty numbers, the STM we're gonna go quicker. with the STM is just it's got it off the line. It's so, but it's so weird because the zero to forty is quicker than CV Tech. So the, the two clutches are so they're, they're there they're, with each other, but the, each one performs a little bit better. So actually, technically, down low the STM just has a little bit more grunt off the zero to twenty. Um, and then the CB Tech pulls on it up to the 40. 40. And well, so trap speed at 300 foot, we're hitting 49 miles an hour. So we're only going nine miles an hour faster. Um, basically every single run we're doing 49 miles an hour as we hit the 300 foot. Literally every single run, we're uh -huh. hitting 49. Except um, the first run with the STM, we hit 47 only. So, but I think that was our slowest run uh -huh. all day. So. Uh -huh. A lot of information I know. Um, I'm going to be posting those screenshots. You guys probably just saw them. All right, so now that you saw the results, the STM and the CV Tech are basically side by side, basically spot on. If we, put, if we had another 850 here, had both on, had the same exact setups, they'd probably be dead even all the way down the road. You'd oh. see one kind of, they'd be doing this little deal a little bit. Barely. But Barely. Yeah. But at the, at the 300 foot, at the end of, we're going to call it our run, they're basically dead even. Yeah. Now, this is testing on an 850. We tried putting the STM on my 650, and it did not perform good at all. I, Reason being, I still think that that is a setup issue. We tried, though. So I actually called up 3P Performance themselves, and they said my motor was hurt, which I know it's not hurt. It's, I put it against my six, or Cess 650, and it's right there with it. It's at, with the, or the CV Tech on it. Um, basically, we couldn't get RPM out of it. And reason being, and talking to some other clutch experts, they think just the weight of the STM is just a little too much for the smaller CC motor. So basically, if you're running a 650 or smaller motor, I really wouldn't go with the, the STM. It's a little too heavy, and you got a lot, a lot of rotating weight. Now, if you're running, yes. now here comes the other thing, though. If you're down south, which I know a lot of followers are and you're you running 32 dude. inch or larger tires on the smaller um, CC quads, you might want to do the STM even though you're not going to get the same performance out of it. I will tell you, you'll probably get more performance um, out of the CV Tech on a lower CC motor because of the lightweightness. It can get it up and going quicker, no. but the heat is going to really affect that CV Tech over time. And when you're turning big tires and you're riding in 100 degree ambient temperature, it's gonna, things, and, things have happened. There's been posts on the well, Can-Am pages. Yeah, I mean, and the CV other- techs have exploded. The other variable to that is, you know, you're riding in thick clay, something like that. Now you're, you're you really gonna heat. heat that clutch so up. So in that instance, it'd be smart to look into an STM or even QSC. Like I said, I wish we had a QSC here to test. If you guys have one, they wanna donate for a day. Um, QSC, you wanna send us one? Yeah, if you're watching this video, if you want in on it. Um, Cause we have, I own the STM, Obviously, Seth owns CV Tech. Um, so, if we get one more, if we get the, the other big dog in there, the QSC would be really cool to compare the two or the three. It would. Because, um, and we do the same thing same day because that's the relative reason we did it all in Cramden in one day is because we wanted the temperature to be the same outside. Yep. So, basically, moral of the story is they're basically exactly the same. So, you guys can do whatever you want, take our advice with a grain of salt. I know there's going to be a ton of people down in the comments, oh, you gotta do QSC, it's the best clutch ever. You guys even use the best clutch ever. A lot of guys yeah. say it's the best, a lot of people say the STM's the best clutch ever. A lot of people say the CV Tech is the best clutch ever. Uh, it's it's all in a personal opinion, you know, and that's what- I think these, they'll all give you- These R's, they all, opinions. They all will give you performance over top of the factory, factory clutching. Um, one thing we, we didn't get a chance to do with Seth's quad is actually just put a regular clutch kit in it, but Clutch kits do not work well. In clutch the, kit is not gonna do... Not in the Can-Ams. The Can-Am clutch is not great from the factory. Yeah. So that's why you might as well save up the money if, you, if you're kind of doing more of a budget build, CV Tech is your friend. Because you're gonna, you're gonna be yeah. able to compete with, if you're doing like mud racing or anything, you're gonna be able to compete with all these guys. Absolutely. Um, at as, half as the you price. As you can say, at half the price. You know, and, and that's my thing. My personal opinion is if you're looking at these numbers as almost identical, Basically identical. You know, I said half the price, CV Tech, you know. It's a good clutch. All right, so our final thoughts on both clutches, because 
We own both of them now. So, what, and we've tried them both out. Which one would you buy? If, if, if say you didn't buy your CV Tech yet and you're watching this video right now. I would say if I didn't own either and I was watching this, I would probably go with the CV Tech being that it's half the price. Um, you're getting damn near the exact performance out of it for half the money. I mean, that's it, my personal opinion. I you're mean, gonna keep up with all the Top Guns? That yeah, are absolutely. Running QSCs and, and CV Techs, or and, sorry, STMs. Now, my opinion, if I had an 850 or 1000, I probably would go STM, because right. I'm a spender. I'm a spender. Um, <laughs> he likes to have the best, the name brand. I know. Well, CV Tech's a name brand, technically. Whoa. But so, yeah, I, I would end up going with the STM because um, eventually I'd do more mods to my 850, more power and more heat. So, I'd want something that's going to hold up a lot, lot longer and everything. Um, and this having that adjustability with the fingers and everything um, and moving the weights around on the on the flyweights rather. So, I mean, the adjustability is really nice. Is To me, is it worth, you know... $600 six, more? Seven, like eight hundred dollars more? Meh. No. But, I don't need expensive. Here's my, I don't need all the expensive so, shit. So, so, going back to my quad, the quad I actually own, a 650 XMR. I'd buy the CV Tech. Um, and you did. And I did. It's a good thing I did because, to be honest, um, I found out the hard way. Luckily, I got it used, so I got a good price on it. And to kind of buy it with a bundle deal, you guys are going to see on the channel. So, if you're not subscribed, Click that button. It's gonna be, it's gonna be some exciting stuff coming up. But right now, I got my 650, and I'll choose the CV Tech. And I found out the hard way buying the STM that unfortunately, it actually hurt my power quite a bit because I was not able to get the quad to shift out its correct RPM. I was only able to get about 7,200 RPM out of it when um, with the 650s, you wanna be a little over 8,000. Uh, that's just where they like making power. They don't have the torque that these 850s and 1000s do. So you gotta crank that motor up and let her sing. That's where she, she makes power. And I could not get the RPM out of it. I tried doing some different stuff. Taught, like I said, taught the 3P. And um, they said my motor was hurt. I was like, it's not hurt, but I just know it's 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 the weight of it. It's just the little it could, little yeah. motor can't turn her. <laughs> so. yeah, unfortunately, take what we give you here, this information, and make your own decision. I mean, we, either one we put is two a great back to back. choice. Like I said, we had both of these. I worked with clutch companies to actually set them up, like perfect guys that like mud race and everything like that. I worked with them to set both these clutches up to get the things basically both performing the best they possibly can, like I said. And funny enough, the more close setup I had of the STM to the CV Tech performed the best actually, yeah. funny enough. So there must be some characteristics about the CV Tech to make it, make it a good clutch. Yeah. So yeah, yeah take, our, take our advice with a grain of salt. I know you're, we're gonna get murdered down in the comments. I already know it's coming. I don't think so because we're not we're not pedaling one. No, you no. Know, we're not pedaling both, one over both the other. Really good clutches, and we actually QSC. have the facts to back it up. Back it up. And QSC, if you're watching, or if you're watching, you have a QSC clutch, and you are somewhere in the Hudson Valley area in New York. If we can borrow it for a day, that'd be awesome. Uh, if we can play with the tuning, we'll actually even help you tune your quad. Um, get, Get more power out of it. I will. I'm not this not guy. Me. <laughs> he sits I'll back be, and watches. I'll be at just work. Just like that. Yeah, just like I'll, that. With I'll be at cross. work. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, if, if you guys want to lend us your clutch for the day, so we can actually put all three of them to the test, that'd be yeah. an awesome, awesome video. That would actually be the great. QSC is supposed to be very good as well. Again, guys, on the internet claim it's the best clutch ever. Just that, like I've read it. STM I guys, read it on the internet. So all it must the STM be guys true. say the STM is the best. All the CV Tech guys are say they're the best. So. Uh, I mean, it is what it is, man. It's all personal opinions. Um, At this point, it's just, yeah, personal opinion. Yeah. So with that, guys, make sure you guys are liking, subscribing, and commenting down below. Really appreciate all the support. Um, let us know what you guys think about all of our testing and something we could do different in the future. So Seth, where can they catch us on the interwebs? All right, guys, and with that, you can catch us on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. We'll catch you guys next time on Let Their Fly. Yeah.